are bringing a lot of stress into the bedroom. They're they're waking up later, and they're a lot of times depriving themselves of sleep, which can unfortunately lead to a lot of health risks. It can be hard on your heart system. It can be hard on on your memory and concentration. It can be hard for your muscles to regenerate following a workout. Uh, it can make you more susceptible for illness, for a cold, or things like that. If you don't do anything else, right, w waking up at the same time every day, even on the weekends, that's number one, right? Because that really helps organize your sleep schedule and it also takes into account, right, if you don't sleep and you want to correct it. Number two is don't bring news or email or anything like that into the bed, anything stressful. If you're having a stressful talk with your partner, get out of bed, don't do it in the bed, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, if you see that you're anxious or you're not sleeping one night, it's okay, accept it, right? It's, it's important to remember that if you don't sleep one night, you're actually gonna catch up the next night, right? It's not a sign of a problem. Number four would be making a nice bedtime routine, half an hour, an hour, turn off electronics, stretch, music, different things like that. Uh, and then let's see, number five, I think also about like if worries come up in bed, writing them down. Yeah. And then, like I said, and then, and then also setting during the daytime a worry time, right? So this would be a time where you can focus on your worries, make any, do anything that you need to do in that moment. Mm -hmm.